Oof, we have a sunlight issue. Don't we just? Good morning guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another 24 hour challenge and as you can see by the lighting and the sunlight, I'm up early. I have driven into Hull and it's not even half past eight yet because I am gonna be filming only eating fast food that I have never tried before. Now I've never done this video, haven't seen too many people doing this video and also I just wanted an excuse to try some new fast food. You guys had some amazing suggestions over on Instagram as to your favorite fast food places that are a little bit off the regular radar, a little bit less common that I might not have tried. The issue is none of them are in my area. I live in a city that thrives more off independent fast food places. So don't get me wrong, you've got your McDonald's, you've got your KFC, you've got your Burger Kings. But apart from that, there's not a great deal of other chain fast food places. So it was difficult. I think I'm going to be ending up doing quite a lot of driving today. So to start with, we are in Hull. I'm going to be going into the shopping centre and I'm going to either get for breakfast a Burger King breakfast, which I have never had. I've never even had a Burger King burger. Can you believe that? I've only ever had their chips. Or a Bagel Nash breakfast. Now, I've had a Bagel Nash twice before in my life. Both of the times were for lunch. I've never had their breakfast either. But then for the rest of the day, I'm going to be going to places I've completely never been to before. It was just finding somewhere that did a breakfast takeaway was very difficult, especially in this area. Without further ado, let's get going. Let's go in. I've got a mask up. Got my mask. Love it. It's from Violet Sky by M on Instagram. I'm going to go into the shopping centre and hopefully get a Burger King breakfast. Like, that's what I want. I want that more than a Bagel Nash just because I kind of am feeling something greasy, something like, I don't know, stodgy. <laughs> Let's go. I've parked on the roof of the shopping centre just because I knew it would be like quieter and it's so dead. There's literally nobody here. I am wondering if it's actually open. Let's have a look. I have not been in here since pre-pandemic time. So why isn't the lift calling button working? I love how they've measured out the social distancing. It's, it's very thorough. We've even got a line in case it's not clear. So I'll stay on this side. Okay, so I'm walking around like an idiot because I can't see a Burger King logo anywhere. Found it. Bagel Nash is not open. I mean, I'm not too sure what time it does open. Obviously, it's only this little stand and I don't think it has opening times, but I kind of lurky want that to be open because that was going to be my plan B. Right, so this is the current issue. Clearly, as you can see, it's not going very well. Everywhere's got altered opening hours because of the pandemic. So I'm just gonna wait and see if it opens at nine. On the website, it does say it opens at nine. So I'm thinking in like four minutes, it might open. Right, so that has not gone well. Burger King is not open and I've waited for 10 minutes and it's still not open. There is another Burger King in Hull and it says it opens at nine. So I'm gonna walk to that one. It's not going well. Right, not what I wanted, but literally the only place in the whole town that's open is Greg's. Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Well, I won't lie, that was such a stress. Absolutely nowhere is open. All the opening hours on the website say everywhere opens at nine. But upon asking, everywhere opens at 11 because of the pandemic. So wish they'd update their websites because it is a 25 minute drive. It's a little bit annoying. I kind of thought if I get here for about nine, most places will be opening up. No, the only place that's open and serving breakfast is Greg's. In my defense, even though this video is off to an absolute fail, I've never had a Greg's breakfast. I've never had a baguette from Greg's. And I don't fully know what's in this because the lady, bless her, she was so lovely, but English wasn't her first language. And she was also wearing a mask and I also had the radio on very loud. So when she explained to me the options, I didn't really hear her at all. So I just said, oh, the first one sounds fine. Don't know what it is. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be okay. Oh, okay, a sausage just fell out straight onto my car. Cool, cool. It's just really not my day, to be honest. Oh, all the sausages have fallen out and are loose in the bag. Right, okay. I've got sausages, two of them, just loose here. Ah, oh, they're hot. Don't know what else is in that. Some kind of, I think she might have said omelette. So I've got an omelette and sausage baguette with ketchup is huge actually um, and I haven't even paid for the parking because I had so much stuff in my hand that I couldn't pay with my card because I couldn't put all my stuff down and I would usually hold my bank card in my mouth but I had a mask on which I know is disgusting by the way that is actually germ central and definitely not pandemic friendly basically i've just had a stress this is not what i wanted but how wrong can you really go with like a sausage sandwich unless you're vegetarian then quite wrong <sighs> this is just so dry somebody come in i'll close the window while that parole person walks past why the hell why the hell has that lady got an eagle on her shoulder what the what the hell is happening why is there an eagle oh my god 
Can you see this lady with an eagle? Like, is this normal behaviour? Do all shopping centres have an eagle manning the roof? What the hell is going on? Oh, hole, mate. You've got to question it sometimes. I am honestly baffled. I'm so confused about what is going on. And I've just put so much sausage grease on the camera. I mean, I kind of don't even want this. What the hell is happening? Oh my God, she's let it loose. She has let it loose. The sausages are really nice. It's quite a big breakfast. The reason I'm dressed like this is because I'm actually about to do a workout. I don't think this is a pre-workout food. I'm going to get a really bad stitch. It has definitely got better. The further down the sandwich I've got, it has improved. Do you want to see the weirdest thing ever? What? There's a lady on the roof of St. Stephen's flying an eagle. How weird is that? <laughs> Not something you see every day. Oh, she's putting it back in the van now. Oh, no, no. It was obviously just going for its morning. You know, like we take lots for a while. Anyway, I'm eating my Greg's sausage sandwich and I'm coming home in a minute. Bye. -bye. I wanted to show my mum the eagle, but they put it away. Right, I'm back home. I look dead. That took an hour longer than I thought it was gonna because it ended up doing a round trip of Hull. I'm gonna give the sandwich a seven out of 10. It was pretty good. I'm incredibly full and I feel so bloated from that amount of bread. Also got myself a cup of tea. Gonna give that like a two out of 10. Oh, and why is it all coming out the bottom as well? Okay, that's not really it, is it, Greg? That's not really the one. I've got a cup holder full of tea now. Why is it leaking from the bottom of the cup? That is really weird. Cool, okay. Not what I wanted, not what I had in mind. Not sure I can physically go and do a workout now because I feel like I'm just made of bread. I'll get back to you near lunchtime. I'm going to try somewhere completely new that I've never been to. I'd barely even heard of until yesterday. Greg's I had previously been to, but I've never had their breakfast. Inside of my drinks holders, nicely covered in milk. That's going to stink. Greg's way playing up. Goodbye, I'm going to get my lunch. It is now about two hours later, maybe a bit more, three hours later. I'm gonna get in the car, we go again. Did my workout, got dressed. It is now 10 to one, and I'm actually gonna drive back to the exact same shopping center. When I said there's really not very many places in Hull that are chain fast food or that I haven't tried, like there are quite a lot of fast food places, but I have tried most of them. So it made it difficult. One that I have never been to is Walk and Go. There is one in Hull, I've just never been to it. I've never even given it a second thought. I've walked past it countless times. So I'm gonna try it. As far as I'm aware, it's a noodle bar. More carbs. We love to see it. Very hot in my car. So we're gonna get going. I'm hoping the staff that saw me loitering around the shopping center earlier, maybe don't recognize me, even though I don't look that different. The mask is great in terms of hiding your identity a little bit. Anyway, we're gonna go, we're gonna have lunch. Not gonna lie to you, I'm not that hungry. That breakfast just filled me up. So I'm gonna look for something light, something not super filling, not super stodgy, maybe something healthy. That would be nice. I feel like walk and go is kind of like on the boundary of almost healthy fast food. Right, we're masked up. We're in the car park, ready to go. Very warm from the journey here. Car makes me sweaty as heck, but I'm excited. We're back in the same car park. I'm on the correct level this time, so I don't need to get a lift. Here we are, we're at Walk and Go. It honestly smells amazing. Also, vlogging with a mask on is great because nobody can really see you talking to yourself. I need to read the menu because I have no idea what they do here. Hello. Um, can I get the vegan Thai green curry, please? I've got no tofu curry. Oh, I've got vegan deco vegan chicken and all that. Right, okay. What, what would be best to get off the vegan menu then? The teriyaki Yeah, could I get that please? Yeah, that's perfect. We have got the goods. Once again, not entirely sure what I've ordered, but we've got it. I'm excited about it. Um, and it smelled amazing. And also everything on the menu looked really, really good. So I feel like I honestly could have got anything and it would have been nice, but I went for something vegan. Do you guys know I'm fussy about me? And also they had a really extensive vegan menu. So I thought I'll try something off that because I'm all for trying stuff. So I think I've got like teriyaki, vegan teriyaki. Kind of wanted to get some sides, but again, got a bit flustered and also I'm really not that hungry. All Good, we're back in the car. I think you heard what I said, but basically I've got vegan teriyaki noodles and I'm really excited about this. In all honesty, I love takeaways like this and I just didn't know there was one in Hull. It's a little bit too far to come to get lunch every day, but as a treat or like, obviously if I really enjoy it, I would come back because it was effortless and the menu was so extensive. So if you've never been to Walk and Go and you've got one near you, obviously I haven't tried it yet, but maybe check it out if you're into like, they did a lot of Thai food, they did Pad Thai, which I didn't know. Basically, I, I would say it's like a cross between Chinese, Thai, Japanese. But it smells good. I'm gonna save it and eat it when I get home. So I'm gonna set off now. Okay guys, I'm back at home. I've got the goods. My walk and go. It smells amazing. And it's actually still hot as well, which is good because I did wonder it might be cold by the time I get it home. I mean, I think it looks really nice. It's vegan teriyaki with vegetables. I guess that's it. But like, I don't really know if you can see the scale. This is quite a big pot. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna eat all this. I'm gonna go and get a bowl and put it in the bowl instead. And I'm very glad that they've given me a fork and not chopsticks to eat this with because that was just realistically not gonna happen, was it? Here we go. Gonna pour it out, take the fork out. 
pop it in this bowl and you can see just how much you get. Oh, well, half of that missed. Oh my gosh. Guys, this was a regular. Like, this is not a regular portion of noodles. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? This could serve about three people. There's no way I'm going to eat all this. Really good job I didn't get sides or um, anything else as an extra. <laughs> Place test. This looks nuclear and I also don't know how to eat it. Oh my god, that is so good. That is so salty. I'm gonna need a drink. That is so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's really hot. But that is so nice. And I love that there's like no meat in it as well. I know that's really niche. Obviously, you can get this with like chicken, beef, duck. But this is just vegetables. And I am not mad at that. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. I'm gonna give that like a 9 out of 10. This might be my new favourite fast food. Like, don't get me wrong. The salt intake in this must be so high, but... Mm. <laughs> Go and get yourself a walk and go. Would rate that a solid 10 out of 10. Whilst I was eating it, I was really thinking they should have called it walk and roll, not walk and go. Honestly, I should work in marketing. It is now 4.30 and you're probably thinking that is way too early to go for dinner. And you would be correct. However, I am about to drive to York because I've run out of fast food chains in my local area, like my immediate local area that I haven't previously been to. So I'm having to go to York, which is the next nearest place really anyway. And on this journey, I'm taking along a willing participant. Here he is, how are you feeling? Hurting my foot. I have blister. Cool, and about going to York? She just headbutted the stairs. Um, warm, because you don't have air coming. I know, it's gonna be a sweaty journey. Let's go. We're in the car, joined with my brother for the third and final slash penultimate meal of the day. As I've just said, we're going to York Designer Outlet. I, hopefully, fingers crossed, if it's open. Oh my God, actually, should we just check? Did you check? say final slash penultimate? Yeah, so it's going to maybe be the last, but I'm also going to get a dessert. So it might be the second to last. Right, okay. Can you just Google it if it's open? I'm going to aim to get... Hey, Siri. A spudgy like, which Harry had never heard of. It's basically, I think, like a jacket potato fast food place. Yet another carbohydrate but it's fine it's you like 7 p.m it shuts oh <gasps> let's get going then but yeah we're gonna go to york it's about a 45 minute drive so that says 51 that says 51 longest way i've ever been to get a jacket potato not going to lie that's why i'm not getting one yeah not a fan what are you gonna get don't hit my car i'm not going to hit your car what well, am i gonna get if... i don't know <laughs> nah, i feel like i may get a subway subway Something funny. Do you get it? She told me to vlog and um, say something funny. So I said something funny. No, I said tell them we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Say it funny. Oh, yeah. Right. I've got sunglasses on that aren't mine because the sun's dazzling me. We're currently stuck in traffic, which is fun. Uh, we're, what, like... 13 minutes away now, so um, seven been, miles. Been pretty fast. We've been talking about uni. We have. Harry's in his, um, I've just started year 13 and they're gonna bombard me with university information phase. So that's always fun. Might just drop out and be a, um, I don't know. Drop out of what? Your life. <laughs> and just started, you know, live on that patch of grass. That looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> That'll do. Nice little comfy Get your bed. Tent out. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, apart from that, all is swell. We have arrived at York Designer Outlet and I'm actually getting like holiday vibes. You know when you go to one of Don't the- Don't know about that one. Well, a bit extreme. You know when you go to one of the Florida malls kind of like in the evening? Yeah, I'm getting that vibe. Florida air. Oh, it's quite hot though. I think in yeah, the car. Yeah, the air is not Florida. Yeah, that's true. I think I feel like that because in the car I was boiling to death. People who have never been to America think, we're, think people who have are so weird when they're like, what do you mean Florida air? Oh uh, yeah. Like, well, do I don't mean? mean I don't mean Florida air. I mean like humidity. Let's go. Here you go. We've got Spud you like next to Subway, next to Bagel Nash that's actually open. And then on this side we've got Pizza Hut. Fisherman's Wife, never heard of that. And then there's a few more actual restaurants down this way. Where do you want to go? I think you might get a pizza hut, you know? Well, come with me, because I'm going to get a pizza hut for dessert. I've never had their cookie dough, and everyone raves about the pizza hut dessert. Could I do the meal deal, please? Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, could I get beans and cheese as the topping? Yeah. Thank you. And then as a drink, could I get the sugar-free tango, please? Thank you. Ready? So for Harry, we have come for Pizza Hut, and for dessert, I'm getting the Pizza Hut cookie dough, which I've never had. Harry's helping himself to a drink. He has paid for it, I made that sound like he hadn't. I have got a Tango, um, which I haven't had in ages. It's basically just Fanta, isn't it? But what, what have you gone for? Pepsi Max. 
No, I mean pizza. Oh, um, the stuffed crust meal deal. Stuffed crust margarita Caesar fries. No pet milk. We're back in the car, being blinded. However, we're about to drive home. I'm actually gonna hope that mine might still be warm when I get home in 45 minutes. Um, I think it might be wishful thinking, but the thing with the jacket potato and beans is that you can reheat it and it's in a little thing. So hopefully, in fact, I'll just check. It's not tipped up. But yeah, we're gonna drive home. <laughs> Harry's gonna eat his Pizza Hut now though. Ooh, that's squished. <laughs> a bit squished. It's not all about the presentation, but. I mean, it, it tipped up though, to be fair, didn't it? It, it does look nice. Yeah, Very jealous. Better. Sadly, I have had oh, a Pizza oh. Hut pizza before, so. Can't share it. The last time I went to Pizza Hut was for like a 13th birthday party. This lighting is jokes. We're gonna set off. The amount of grease that has seeped through the garlic bread bag onto the napkin is putting me off eating that a little bit. I will not lie to you guys. This does look a bit sorry for itself. The way that it's all congealed is making me not want to eat it. So I think I'm just going to reheat it because it's, it's still warm, but it's not hot. I'm just going to put it in the microwave. And then for afters, again, the grease on that is putting me off it a bit. What has happened to it? No. It's got squashed. How has it folded itself in half? How has that happened? I have no oh. idea. Well, we've got Cadbury's cookie dough that's now all over my hand with their ice cream. It's Basically, the my tea just looks like the greasiest thing in the world. Okay, into the microwave it goes. Okay, I mean, it looks a bit better now. It does just look like a jacket potato, to be honest. Like, there's really no way of me describing this in any other way than, like, it's a jacket potato. And I would say now it's like, yeah, it's like hot. I mean, I don't know if it needs to be piping hot all the way through because there's nothing in this where it could be an issue like it's just a potato and beans but yeah i'm gonna try it i don't have massively high hopes but we shall see actually that is quite nice oh my god the potato is really good it's like really soft i was half expecting the potato to be quite hard and like just a bit stale almost i have had worse jacket potatoes that is that is pretty good i'm happy with that it cost me seven pounds i got it in a meal deal with two garlic breads i mean the garlic bread looks pretty good very inoffensive i think i'm gonna heat that up as well actually but they're not bad they're very greasy that's the only thing i'm gonna say the grease levels are high and i'm not sure you really need more bread oh my god i've had so much carbohydrates i'm not eating carbs for the rest of the week i've had enough carbs today for about three three people hmm cheese is good and i am a cheese connoisseur if i say so myself hmm I'm gonna go. I, what did I give the walk and go? I think I gave the walk and go like a 9 out of 10. I think I'm gonna give this like a 7. I like it. I would eat it. I have no complaints. The service is really good. Jack potato wouldn't be like my first choice because I've been to York Designer Outlet before. The only reason I've never had this is because it's never my first choice, but it's not bad and it's fairly affordable. You get quite a lot for £7 like two garlic bread, a drink, and the main meal. Mmm! I'm gonna go and enjoy it. So I finished my jacket potato. It was a little bit below average. The more I ate, the more I was like, oh, I'm not really enjoying this. And now I'm joined by Tom, who is here. Hello. And we are having the Pizza Hut cookie dough. We've got it in this bowl because I had to it's reheat hot. it. This is the ice cream that came with it. So oh. here we have vanilla ice cream. And we're gonna share it because I didn't really want a whole portion. I'm That's so- a lot, isn't it? It is a lot. And also I'm is so full. Yeah, I'm just so bloated. Like, do you want to hear what I've eaten today? Um, is yeah. that what you got from? What you like? What's it like? It was okay. I find it such an odd concept. It's no. What like a takeaway jacket potato? Yeah, well, I'm not a huge fan of jacket potatoes anyway, but like it wouldn't be a takeaway that I would. No, me neither. Shoot. That's it's what odd... I said. I don't understand how it's made it as a takeaway. I know, but to be fair, there's, there were some nice toppings. When I got home, my mum was like, "Of all the toppings you could have driven to York to get, you got beans and cheese," and I was like, "That's just the elite topping yeah, for a jacket potato." Done that here. I could, but that wasn't the point. I'd never tried that brand. Would and you it go was... back? If there was nothing else, I would eat it. Like, I liked it, I didn't dislike it, but I would always pick the other takeaways. In all the times I've seen it, like, in, like, so where was it? York Designer Outlet? York Designer Outlet, yeah. So, like, places like that, whenever, whenever there is a spud you like, I swear there's never anybody in it. Yeah, to be fair, like, it was empty. It's usually the one place that's just got nobody. Yeah. Well, then there you go, you go there if you don't want to queue. We're gonna have the Pizza Hut cookie dough, so I'm quite excited to try it. Mm. I know this is a popular dessert. What does it taste like? What does it taste like? It tastes like the Domino's cookies. Yeah, yeah, I think a lot of people say that. Mmm, it really, really does actually. Really like them. But you have to heat it up, otherwise it would have been like a solid lump. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think this might be quite melted because it only went in the freezer about half an hour ago. We don't have to finish it. Oh no, I'll finish it. <laughs> I would give that a solid, like, 
8 out of 10. I don't think it's the best cookie dough I've ever had, but it's up there. And yeah, Tom saying that it tasted the same as the Domino's cookies was spot on, to be honest. However, that does bring me to the end of this video. Today we have done quite a considerable amount of driving and eating carbohydrates, and I feel quite tired from that, actually. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you found it entertaining. And I know for a fact there are so many more chain places that I haven't tried. There's just none super near me. So if I ever find myself with a spare day in Leeds, Manchester, London, kind of places where there are a lot more, Maybe I could try some more. Let me know down in the comments what your favourite fast food place is um, and if I've been to it and if it's a common one or if it's a little bit a little bit wacky. Let me know. Other than that, I'm going to go. I shall see you back on my channel very soon with another video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. As I mentioned at the beginning, don't forget to subscribe down below and I shall see you all very soon. Bye!